You're watching Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London. India's moon rover has confirmed the presence of sulphur on the lunar south pole, the country's space agency has said today. Last week, India became the first country to land a craft near the largely unexplored South Pole, and just the fourth nation to land on the Moon. In a statement, the Indian Space Research Organization confirmed that the Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy, the LIBS instrument, on board Chandrayaan-3 rover had made the first ever in situ measurements on the elemental composition of the lunar surface near the South Pole. The measurements unambiguously confirmed the presence of sulphur. The spectrographic analysis also confirmed the presence of aluminium, calcium, iron, chromium and titanium on the lunar surface, ISRO added, with additional measurements showing the presence of manganese, silicon and oxygen. The six-wheeled, solar-powered rover Pragyan, wisdom in Sanskrit, will amble around the relatively unmapped South Pole and transmit images and scientific data over its two-week lifespan. India has been steadily matching the achievements of other space programs at a fraction of their cost, despite suffering some setbacks. Four years ago, the previous Indian lunar mission failed during its final descent, in what was seen at the time as a huge setback for the program. Chandrayaan-3 has captivated public attention since launching nearly six weeks ago in front of thousands of cheering spectators, and its successful touchdown on the moon last week came just days after a Russian lander crashed in the same region. You've been watching Satellite TV News and you can find more stories in detail on our channel, that's Satellite News, so it's worth clicking on that subscribe button to make sure you get to see stories as they're broadcast. And don't forget, if you have any comments or opinions on any of our news stories, you can comment below or why not drop us a direct message at message at satellitetv.com. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, thanks for watching. For Satellite TV News, I'm Angus Scott in London.